Jones, 27 years of age, 161.6. There you see his reach. And Young, 31 years of age, 5'11", just under 158 pounds, and a 76-inch reach. Remember, this is three rounds in a catch weight bout. So we are set to go in a catch weight bout here. This one's scheduled for three. Cat Kelly gets us started off in round number one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight! And another explosive start. This one, Roberto Young coming off of two losses, trying to put that behind him quickly on Phoenix Jones. You know, Phoenix Jones primarily is a grappler. He's been working on his striking out of the AMC with Matt Hume and UFC champion Demetrius Johnson, to name a couple. But he really is primarily a wrestler, Todd. He needs to push him into the fence like he's trying to do now and look to drag this to the floor. Young with some space, throwing a one-two combo, lands a good jab there. Jones coming over the top, looking to keep pressure on his opponent's head. They're back in the neutral position. Boy, the speed of Roberto Young could be problematic for Phoenix Jones. Big right hand, he landed too, Todd. It only takes one of those there. Speaking of, Phoenix comes back. Phoenix is finding some, some luck with his front headlock position, Todd, but he doesn't seem to know how to finish from here. He's got a couple of options, and one is to just jump back and pull his opponent down. I think instead he's choosing to try to focus on his grip. If he can get his hands locked just right, a guillotine choke is an option from here. And unless Young starts doing something for defense, mainly attacking at the hands, he's going to wow. increase the potential. He's caught in one. Here we break away. And he goes right back to that guillotine. He comes back to this front headlock position. I, I, I would assume he's setting up a guillotine. In this position, Todd, it's all about getting your hands locked the right way. You need under the chin, and then you'll begin the arch position. Phoenix is arching a little bit here, but I don't think he has his hands locked. If Young can put weight on the hands and pull that grip down, he should, should pop out of it. Young does look a, a little bit confused. I think he's tapping. Defend yourself. No, he was striking, and there is a difference. So Roberto Young comes out of that one not once, but twice. And remember, Phoenix Jones is in trouble as he gets rocked, and he is coming off a loss to Emmanuel Wallow. He's got to do something here, or this one's going to be over. Jones is really eating some big shots there. It's a solid chin, those punches. I can hear over here, all the way in our seat. Phoenix Jones needs to get back to this clips position. Young with a one-two combo, very nice. Picks him up, takes him down. Phoenix Jones in side control now. He's got a couple of options from here. He wants to maintain position while working ground and pound and looking for submissions. He moves to what's called the north-south position. He could begin to attack an arm and look for a Kimura. Right here, he's got the lock. He's going to need to bring Yong back to a hip. Well, I'll tell you what, as awkward as it looks, Phoenix Jones has a lot of options in that shit. Phoenix Jones has defeated Roberto Young. All right. Okay. I'll tell you what, that's an excited Phoenix Jones, and that move he just finished with was not locked on. He did not have the lock, though he did have a scissor with his legs around Roberto Young's neck, which perhaps was cutting off his oxygen. We'll have to take another look at this. As Phoenix Jones tries to gather his composure, he is so excited. Here it is one more time, Chael. Here's the start of it all. Phoenix Jones pushes him to the fence. What goes up must come down. When he comes to this side position, eventually he transitions. What Phoenix Jones was looking for here, Todd, was a bit of a Kimura lock, where he's going to finish with a shoulder or an elbow extension. He begins to set this up. He steps over into a north-south position. He's going to transition from here, all while looking for the armbar. This is all a setup for the armbar. You 
see how Phoenix has the arm lock. That's what he's looking to extend. As this highlight advances, there's the scissor hold. Now that's really just putting pressure on his opponent's jaw. The arm lock never gets locked in, but Roberto Young had decided that was as good as time of any to exit stage right, and this one's over. So Phoenix Jones picks up his first victory in the World Series of Fighting, and just when that was happening, reminded me of his loss at World Series of Fighting 20 to Emmanuel Walla, where he let things just linger on, and this time it looked like he was determined to end it in multiple ways. He was going armbar, he was choking out by the scissors, and Roberto Young had no other decision but to tap and Phoenix Jones is your winner. We'll be back with the official decision. Phoenix Jones gets the victory in Phoenix. You're watching World Series of Fighting 23 on NBCSN. Back inside Comerica Theater, Phoenix, Arizona, World Series of Fighting 23 at the conclusion of the catchweight bout. We set it inside the cage. Jeff Securo has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends with a tap out due to a scissors choke at three minutes and nine seconds of round number one. Your winner, the vigilante, Phoenix Jones! Yeah. Get ready. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.